G'day everybody, welcome to the Open Wheels. We're going to start this one out here on the fields and go and hunt down a, a claim this trip. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of excitement um, for me anyway. I'm going to stick my head in a couple of holes, have a look at some ground and yeah, find somewhere suitable enough to peg that we'll be able to do something in. Um, hoping for an open cut, may end up in a hole, we don't know yet, but yeah, we'll have a look and see what's available. There's a lot of ground pegged out here, so we're going to have to fit in somewhere. So this will be interesting, but yeah, so we'll go for a bit of drive out this way and I'll, yeah, just come back when I keep finding some spots and then, yeah, hopefully we'll find a spot. Sorry guys, just disturbed you. I'm going to take your kangaroo trail across here and <laughs> try not to fall down there. Right, so this is the end of this tunnel. Basically where it goes in back out of it. And uh, there's only a bit of scratching there. I did some of that. There's someone else has been doing a bit here. What they dug this for and what they got, not sure. But it's a possibility. Well, this is an accessible hole with a not so steep incline to get down. And uh, a couple of other directions we could try and head if we wanted. Namely that way. Keep the main of the drive through there. Or we'll continue what was started this way. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, I'll even be able to get a machine down here, not a problem. Start having a good scratch around. And maybe a bobcat or a skid steer, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, I'm going to climb back up and keep looking. And yeah, this is one isn't a no. All right, so I've uh, been pointed in the right direction. So we've picked out a bit of ground. We're going to go peg. Firstly, I'm going to have to go find one of the markers for the mines department so I can geographically place and direct them to the mine for my first peg anyway. So we're going to walk this way. I'm informed. We'll find a peg. I don't think I can see it from here. Other side of a scrape, so we'll go the long way around. It's always fun. So what do we got here? TT 3T. So I'm going to take a GPS marking from here, measure it for the first peg and the direction, and then that way when the mines department come to check my posts, they'll be able to uh, correlate it from this post. So try and keep it as accurate as possible, with the compass and whatnot. So yeah, now I'll go for a walk back. And uh, I might not get all this filmed all in one hit, it's a lot to do. I keep forgetting to hit record, sorry guys, but I'm trying to include as much as possible. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm leaving much out. So anyway, there's the peg. Oh, there we go. In there somewhere is the claim. Uh, well, I've done a live stream and had a walk around, so by the time this goes up, you'll have had a see, but yeah. So that was the last thing, getting the posts into the ground. And 50 by 100. So now we're gonna submit the paperwork. Yeah, so we'll go back to the house and do that. All right, just to quickly show this part, um, we're required to measure out from the nearest peg for the government peg, uh, the degrees and distance, and then same again, degrees and distance for the size of your claim. So over here, there's one of the forms. Notice of pegging, me, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just get all your details, they'll take a reference, they'll check at the database and either clear it or won't. So here's hoping anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to go down to the post office and yeah, so <clears throat> in the spirit of putting the horse before the cart, um, first of all, <clears throat> precious stones prospecting permit is required. So you 
apply for this either in Andamooka or I did one in Adelaide, the mines department. And that comes with your peg, uh, your tags. <laughs> I keep getting confused with stuff. And um, I better start calling it pegging a ground, not pitching. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, not the same thing. Um, and yeah, anyway, you've got to uh, get one of these uh, so you can peg your claim and put tags on your pegs. So that's first things first. Uh, and then, yeah, go for the pegging. But we'll be waiting for the uh, government to come back and say, you're all good to go and then we'll be out of mine. So we're just waiting. So I've got to head back to Adelaide, but I'll be back up in a day or so. Again, just uh, coming out the post office here at Andamooka. Nice little fella. Hey buddy. You look gorgeous. He's so small, he's about Five inches long. Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> Did I scare you? Hey. I bet you impress all the tourists. Hey, buddy. You're checking me out, aren't you? Hello. <laughs> hey. Me, bro. <laughs> oh, you're too cute. You'll be as fast as with all the sun. Oh, okay. You are a friendly sort. You come here. You look like you want him. photogenic aren't you you're really not shy I'm literally within a foot away from him I just got my hand there hey. you going buddy he's standing up about three inch two and a half inches tall <laughs> Hello. Hey. Oh, what did you just eat? You're chasing bugs. Hey. You're having a good feast around here, aren't you? You're plenty to eat. scared at all are you? What are you scared of out here? Nothing. There's not too many birds gonna fly around and get you. Hmm. I'm gonna scare you. Oops, which I just did. Hey Lol. Where are you going? scared of me, are you? Hmm? <laughs> made him jump, made me jump. Hmm? Where do you live? Up in the cracks there, eh? Let's jump. Oh. 
Yeah, right, I'll leave you alone, mate. You come back out in the sun.
next morning. Uh, didn't have much time to check it out last night, but this is the uh, new driveway. <laughs> Gonna drive in on. Still a bit rough, gotta wear it in a bit. But it's a lot better than what it was. <laughs> Still a bit bumpy, but missing the ruts down the center, which was bottoming out on me. Yeah, it looks a bit different up here. Yeah, all right, so here we go. Um, if you remember, down in here was a bit deeper and that's sort of been pushed and filled in there but we scraped that out so let's go for a walk in have a look around i haven't actually gone over it properly finished a bit late yesterday afternoon be exciting to see something but i don't think we're there yet we are still got to go down a bit to the level probably quite a bit depending which level we're heading to Yeah. Looks totally different. So that was that mound up there. That was basically about here. Where the fresh ground sort of started in the sides. And uh, it was dug in a bit still. So about somewhere here is all that's fresh ground all in there. So, now you just got to knock around and tap every single rock, <laughs> every single rock, um, on the layer level, and we'll see what we can find. Okay, so I might just do a quick walk around from post to post to post, all the corners, and have a good look at the ground here from the top, and then go down and have a, another dig, scratch around. It's pretty hard ground down there. Uh, I could definitely need a bit more uh, big machinery help to be able to um, get into that hard layer down to a level and then we can sort of keep benching it forward. You'll understand as we go <laughs> um, through the claim that is mining it through this season and uh yeah so let's get back up here so set the pig back there Across to here, back that way towards the car. Way over there. There's one peg, two across to this one, and then over this way. Fair distance, 50 by 100. It's a fairly fair distance. So, coming back across here. Now we're just 
just have to go and explore the floor. See where it starts. Okay, so I've climbed down a little bit of a scrape that's on our block, I claim. It's got the remnants of what used to be a tunnel that ran through here. Let's see if we can have a look in here. That doesn't go anywhere. So here's a level, whether it's the false one or not. All these rocks run through there. First, definitely good nothing in here for a while. A little wasp nest. Okay, so let's go find another hole. There's another one. It's a little bit too tight for me to go climbing in this side. There's that one there. Right there. That way, it's like I was tunneled in all the way along. And this side, now that which pretty much goes to there. So, this is all filled in, you can see down there, sort of along that gap there it goes in under further so all this has been washed back in and would have to be cleared out if anyone wanted to mine but clearly it's been mined here and they went that way and that way and then someone just decided to dig it all up and see what's left lots of tumbleweeds let's have a look in here Oh yeah, it's a bit lighter than I thought, I've got my sunglasses on. <laughs> Alright. Lots more cocoon wasp nests. These ones are weird. Just turn the light on, hang on. Here we go. Here's a level here. Yeah. All these rocks. Just in a line. Not really above it, not really below it. So that's where that's opened up and all, all this stuff's here. So whether it's a main level or not. Not too familiar with the ground over here. Haven't really studied it. It didn't look on the outside too well to understand it. So, oh yeah, looks like there's a shaft hole. Looks like it's filled in. So, yeah, not much you can do down here. I'd say they've uh, removed most of whatever they could and if there's anything, it's up for another rediscovery, but that's the level where I'm finding out. So, again, all these rocks. Sometimes it's hard to see. You've got to knock back off from the wall to see what's under it because it all just turns the same sort of a powdered coating on the outside and it masks it. Yeah, this is what you'd want to dig through and hope to come across something. But yeah, so I'm going to head out 
You have a scratch around in the hole again. I think it just found old mate from the other day. Hey buddy, how are you? You enjoying the sun? Hey, life good to you, Eddie? You look pretty healthy, mate. Pretty solid. Hey, having a good snooze? You're probably going to scamper if I get too close, aren't you? Don't want to scare you though. Hey, gorgeous. Say hello to Australia. Hey, buddy. A real native. And he's really thick in body too. He's a really good, healthy specimen, this one. Big, thick legs. Could actually be a she, and I'm being a bit rude. She might be pregnant. Very gorgeous. Yeah. Anyway, I'll leave her on her way. Yeah, you're getting a bit annoyed with me, aren't you? Bit of a miss. Okay, baby. Bye. Ah, so yeah, I've uh, had a bit of a scratch around over there. Went down about a metre, and uh, yeah, still kind of find a level. <laughs> So I'm going to wait till the uh, excavator comes in and digs us a little trench to start burrowing along. So that's pretty much it for now. I'll uh, got to end this video sometime. I'll keep dragging it out. I'm just trying to show more and more, but no, we'll get to the next one eventually and hopefully some opal. So yeah, pegging your claim. It's a lot of fun, a lot of time, a lot of money. Um, well, the pegging part's not really the money, but having it cleared and having a scrape put in and yeah that saved us a years of work by hand <laughs> yeah we'd never have done it to be honest so yeah onward and upward hopefully this will be the um retirement fund <laughs> and uh yeah see what happens oh can't keep my mouth open too long the uh, flies like to live in there they're very friendly after the moisture. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Oh.